Okay, so it's time to have a look inside the uh, link presence light. The three LEDs in the front. Have a cut out for the USB. And I've attached four rubber feeds to it. It stands a bit more firm on the desk and also um, counters these protruding protruding nuts. This is pretty much it. So it's an Arduino Uno R3 board. Here's the three LEDs. The colors of the wires uh, match with the colors of the LED. Just to make the assembly a bit simpler. And you can see that all the ground wires are connected together it doesn't really matter which ground pin we use they're all the same I've uh, I use these straight pin connectors just make it easier to attach and detach from the Arduino board they're not required but um, yeah, they just make it easier. I've left some unused pins here as you can see. So if I ever need another ground or another 5 volts, it's available. So the outputs I've used, if you can see that, is the digital 3, 5 and 6. And the reason why I've used those, if you can see it has this tilde symbol next to it which means that they are pulse width modulated. I don't use that functionality now, but it means that I can get these LEDs, um, I can control the brightness on these LEDs, so you can fade in, fade out, you can soft blink, you can do that kind of, that kind of thing. So um, I'm not using that functionality in the uh, program yet, but it's very easy to, to extend to do that in the future. Okay, so this was the inside. As you can see, there's not really a lot going on. Um, the only connection coming into the box is the USB. You can see the cutout here. Um, there's no no power apart from the USB. This whole thing, well, 20 milliamps per LED, so we're pretty low on power consumption. So it's easy for the um, USB to drive this thing. So I've just cut out this one so that yeah as you can see the wire sort of disappears a bit um, into the box but works like a charm yeah that was it thanks